Hi guys, Mr. Roth Waffles here. We're about to watch the story trailer for Call of Duty Black Ops 3. It's just come out. I cannot wait to see it. I haven't seen it yet. All I've seen is the Peggy 18 that we're sitting on right now. I've got it in premiere, ready to go. I do want to say that all of the teasers that we had yesterday are no doubt going to be very much linked into this. If you haven't seen those secret teasers, they're in the description down below. So I think that that's probably a good point for us to begin this trailer and see what's in store for us. Boom. Peggy 18. Hokey dokey. Gonna move my mouse, make sure that that's off the screen. We've got stuff going on already. Campaign mode depicted available only on next gen and PC. You've got like the sort of direct neural interface, I guess, scan stuff because direct neural interfaces have been talked about. There are gameplay mechanic in this game that allows you to do stuff. There's a crow, Corvus, which you saw in that original trailer. There was the Black Ops 3 logo. That's pretty damn cool stuff as well. This guy is talking now. There's the Treyarch logo, looking good as always. I'm liking it. Okay, he's got a nice little goatee. I'm liking it, liking it. Okay, so they've basically got weaponry built into their bodies now. That's the idea. These cybernetic enhancements. That is exactly what we're seeing here, I suppose. In fact, if we go all the way back to the Back in Black trailer that was a teaser for the game, you can see then that the person has actually been augmented in their joints and stuff. So... Oh, they didn't volunteer. Okay, so these people weren't meant to become soldiers. Or maybe they've been experimented on. Taylor's team, which I think is the team that have gone dark. So, I guess these guys are the protagonists. These are probably your teammates, your main squad in the game itself. He may not want to come back. He's picking a guy up now and is just going to ch- Oh, okay. He just threw him off the edge there. That guy's getting taken out. He's throwing what looks like a flare or something, maybe a Molotov. Okay, that woman is talking. Oh, dear. Oh, those people were- That didn't look very happy. Oh, so it's not Hudson. There we go. Finally, we have some evidence that it isn't Hudson pulling the gun out there. That's very, that makes me very happy anyway. This is looking like a pretty standard Call of Duty trailer right now. Music is pretty damn epic though. Oh, liking that throwing knife. Things exploding here and there. You got some riot shields. That's a robot giving a guy like a weapon or something. That like, getting shot down. Oh, I guess this is an interrogation. You don't know what this will do. You don't, wait. Oh, oh, okay. That was really cool. So that, wait. I can feel it taking over. What? Not even my mind is safe. What? Oh, what? What? Whoa, 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 whoa. What? That was a tree. <laughs> Dude, that was so cool. You still in my job? Oh, but, Do you hear me? Do, oh. I don't understand. Is he turning into a robot? At home? What? 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 <laughs> okay, we're gonna go back. That was a bit confusing towards the end. That was really cool though. There's some really awesome stuff in there. So sort of scrubbing back, you have this kind of standoff, which looks very cool in itself. They've got one teammate who seems to have gone rogue. I guess the cybernetic enhancements inside his body are changing him in some way. We know that 115 is going to be a big part of the campaign because we've seen those numbers everywhere in teasers before. And that's obviously very much related to zombies. We know the effects of 115, so maybe 115 is being used in the cybernetic enhancements to do something and this guy is turning into something? I don't really know. I mean, they're sort of saying, like, you okay? This bit is super cool. He's, like, falling into the frozen forest which is just a very, very cool shot, I guess. He falls into that little puddle there and it whites out. Then you've got some lightning up there looking very nice. That's the sort of thing that I like to see. I guess they're being experimented on here. You've got the different bodily sort of functions. You've got the DNA, the eye, what looks like a pair of lungs there, maybe some kidneys as well. In the back, you've got talk about the direct neural interface. You've got a guy called Jay. I guess maybe that's probably the person being experimented on. What is that? What? What is that? What? I, I mean, that is really weird. Oh my god, this is so, so weird. Holy cow! This is so cool! Look! What is going on? What? 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 The, so, 
This is the Frozen Forest, which has been talked about loads. We've seen so many mentions of the Frozen Forest, whether it's Dr. Salim or whether it's just that viral campaign in general talking about the Frozen Forest. We've seen it in trailers. We've seen it sort of mentioned here and there. But this is really interesting. There's this slope, as you can see, and a guy suspended. It looks like he's wearing a suit suspended between these two trees. That is really weird looking. That does not look like something of this world. This is very sort of ethereal and strange. But then you also have this figure who looks like he's glowing. And that doesn't look like a human. I mean, it looks human, but like that looks more like Superman than it does look like a sort of regular person. Like it's a very sort of strange look. They're sort of standing there like an action man with this glow emanating from their chest and this guy in these trees you've got what looks like a hut in the background that's really exciting stuff what is this i don't know what this is are these meant to be the tree branches is this some kind of structure it's moving or is it are we just moving through it what on earth that is i don't know i don't know if it's meant to be a depiction of the inside of someone's brain maybe we're going into this guy's brain right now via that direct neural interface i do not know the guy falling into the frozen forest here is clearly a soldier he's got the gloves to prove it but then, what was that? What is this? There's some building, no, that's the back of someone's head. Oh, so what's happening here? Oh, look, okay, so this is really interesting. Oh dear, that's pretty gruesome. So you've got this, this section here where the guy goes flying, right? Looks a little bit peculiar. Then we see what looks like someone's mouth. So someone is like shouting here, I guess. I think that that's one of our teammates shouting, but he's, I guess, drifting into this frozen forest but if you look that is two places and look in the bottom right look at that sort of canteen that looks really out of place but this is really interesting you've got this flat world here but then you also have a completely vertical piece of world as well like you can see like a pylon what looks like and the guy is falling into this new world that's why he falls sort of drifts across what would be the floor he's actually falling there then we get this shot here of even more crazy stuff a guy running by the looks of things is he running oh, no he's falling over so that's the shot of the person falling over in the frozen forest and you've got that crow on the right there as well you've got this person i guess having something put in their mouth or having their tongue held or something like that don't really know what's going on he's actually getting killed by the looks of things and there's a guy in the dark there as well and as that is happening you see this entire area start transforming. So on the right, we've got those buildings and they basically break themselves down. That tree comes rushing forward. That is really interesting. I don't know what that tree is going to symbolize. We've seen a big tree with a sort of tundra background in those Snapchat teasers from many months ago. So that's really interesting. I guess this guy is falling into sort of subconsciousness now. And then we get to see these sort of shots of the back of someone's head. That is what that is with a sort of collar on as well so i guess maybe just maybe the impression i'm getting is that the frozen forest is sort of a place in your head where you can go and interface with some people of some kind we don't know why there is that guy in the trees there but maybe that is that person's sort of mental depiction of who they are being held sort of constrained in place with this person next to them i don't know if the person next to them is maybe their imagination of what like one of the doctors is that is experimenting on them or something maybe but I think that the frozen forest, if we go back to that original quote, imagine somewhere calm, imagine somewhere safe, imagine yourself in a frozen forest. I'm not so sure this frozen forest is as calm and tranquil and serene as Dr. Salim would have us think. Very, very interesting stuff. I'm just gonna scrub back a little bit. Let's see if there's anything else we can see here. It's so interesting that you've got all this really, is he wearing a balaclava? It looks like, oh, he's got like some sort of bullets, like a bullet vest type thing on as well. And he just goes flying. Holy moly. All of these shots are so interesting. When it flashes to other stuff, I love it. And it looks like here, you can see, look at the trees that are completely at the wrong angle. Whereabouts are we right now? Why is there a tank here? What does that tank symbolize? There's this explosion. And as the guy is running, he gets caught by it. But then I guess... There's so much going on. It is insane. This 
it, the tank is like in a church or something. We're going into this guy's head and he's like, I can feel it taking over sort of thing. And so I'm assuming that that is the machine implementation in his body. I think I should wrap this up here though, guys, because I've been talking for an awfully long time. This is a very, very interesting trailer. And I'm going to be talking more about this in the coming days and weeks. So make sure you are subscribed down below. Make sure you like the video. Give it a good old thumbs up. Otherwise, you officially categorize yourself as a watermelon and you do not want that, trust me. But I've been Mr. Ruffle Waffles. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed the video. If you have, then leave a like, like I said. If you haven't, let me know in the comment section down below. And as always, I will see you next time. Bye-bye.